What's good, y'all? This is your man, Sight, and today I'm going to show y'all how to put together dumb custom 808s standalone with glide on the NPC. Let's go. Let's get busy. All right, y'all, welcome back to the lab. Today I'm kind of pumped because I've noticed lately there's been a trend of people running out to buy 808 VSTs like Sublab, 808 Studio, things like that. And while that's cool, you know, people can spend money wherever they want. I'm a big proponent of using what you have available to you. And that's going to be a theme going forward on my channel. Use what you have. If you have an NPC, this is something where if you have standalone, obviously you're not going to be able to use a VST. Um, but you might still want to use 808s in your production and be able to modify them in different ways, like even the glide parameter, which as a lot of people who are NPC users know, that's a major issue. When you put an 808 in key groups, you don't have a glide parameter. It still kind of sucks because you don't have that kind of automatic glide that goes between notes or portamento or whatever you want to call it. So I found a way around that using the hype synth right inside the NPC. Now I went through and I actually spent two whole days just kind of crafting 808s and getting familiar with the setup. And that's something you guys might not want to invest in as far as time. So I'm going to put 13 new patches I created into an expansion on my website, imsite.com. If you don't want to go through this process and create your own 808s, this is going to be 13 808 presets that you can put into your NPC, load up, and you'll have available right in the tube synth anytime you want it. They're actually going to be full programs which have effects you can modify and adjust as well, but it's going to include both kind of real big beefy 808s, pause, and it's also going to include distorted 808s, which I'm going to call the filthy 808. So you'll see that expansion on my website when this video goes live. You can feel free to download it. I'm only charging five bucks for it. It did take me a couple days to put it together, so I appreciate anybody who supports. But if not, I'm going to show you guys how to walk through and make your own presets on it right now. All right, and let's get to it. So first things first. I'm going to go ahead and open a sequence and go over to, I always put my bases on track eight, so you can put it on whichever one you like. I'm going to go ahead and hit the plug in button and we're going to choose the tube synth. All right. And we'll go to program edit and default, you know, we just got, just got your regular synthesizer in there. All right. So default, it comes with just a basic synthesizer. But we're going to go to down to base. All right. And there's a couple different patches you can start with, but I highly recommend starting with this sub base one. There's also a sub base two down here that you can use. There we go. So let's go with sub base one. Now you can hear that already. It sounds like an 808. But the difference between just a basic sine wave and an 808 is the release, right? So let's go to envelope. Let's turn that release up. All right, now another thing we're going to do is there's this aftertouch thing that can really throw the bass off and kind of adds some variation depending on the uh, velocity that you're hitting the pads with. So let's turn that down to zero. Hold shift if you get stuck on one. Put it on zero. All right. And just to make sure I'm not making too much pad noise, I'm going to go ahead and hit full level on the pads. All right. And another thing I like to adjust on these 808s is the envelope here in the mixer filter tab. So I'll put this on anywhere between like 40 and 50. We already cooking baby the 808s on the stove. We can just stop there. We can just stop. Tutorial over. Now, but let's keep going. We do have an 808 sound that's functional. You can put that right under a beat. But let's go ahead and adjust it. We're going to turn down the low pass filter. I'm actually going to bring that release up a little more. 
All right, now what I also like to do is come over here to the uh, reverb compressor hype tab. Um, the hype is turned all the way up on the low side, so we'll keep that there. That gives it like a booming bass, and that's cool. I like that. So let's go ahead and uh, adjust this compressor a little bit. Turn up the ratio. We'll bring the attack back some. And a lot of this is going to be experimenting. So you can get in here and tinker around and kind of come up with different variations. But that, what I just showed you, is going to be the foundation for an 808. So anything else you want to add to it as far as texture, you can just go on and experiment. So let's mess around and try some different textures on this one. All right, so let's put together a quick beat and see what this 808 patch sounds like on it. Got some drums loaded up here. All right, now real quick, I'm going to go ahead and hit the eyeball icon up here on my bass track. And I'm going to go ahead and insert a maximizer on this, the air maximizer, which is included. And we're going to turn the threshold up all the way to zero. And that's going to give you a limiter for your 808 track. So I always recommend to put that on there. People don't know that the MPC does have a limiter. It's called the air maximizer. And if you follow these settings that are on the screen, that's going to make sure you don't go over that amount. You can also bring the ceiling down if you wanna make sure it hits under zero. All right, so I'm gonna look for a loop real quick, see if we can lay a melody down and have something for these 808s to follow. All right, I found something kind of spooky. Let's see how this works. Mess around with the filter on that a little bit, and let's go ahead and add some 808s to it. All right, so we'll drop that one octave. Let's see what it sounds like. Transpose. Not bad, not bad, but I think it still needs a little more texture. Let's go ahead and add some of the air effects on here and see if we can really get it to slap. All right, so I've added the uh, the air distortion on here, and these are the actual parameters that I use. So uh, I messed around with it, and I came up with this. I do want to show you guys what the glide parameter does on the tube synth. Um, how it works, you know, just like any 808 plugin. All right, so program edit and let's hit glide all. Let's set the glide at about 52 milliseconds. You hear that kind of whoop? That's, that, that's the glide parameter, as you probably know. That sounds a lot better. I went ahead and added the kick drums in it. Let's go ahead and add it in with the drums and the beat. All right, so that should do it for this one. I hope you guys picked something up from that, and I hope you're able to make some banging 808s with it. Once again, you can get in there, kind of tinker around, come up with different patches. Don't forget, you can actually save your presets, so you'll have them in there anytime you go in. And also, if you want to support the channel, you can go and pick up the 13 presets that I created of different 808 patches, different textures. I have kind of bouncy, warm ones, and then I also have kind of the distorted, dirty ones. So I'll put an even mix in that expansion, and I'm putting it on my website. 
imsite.com. You can go on there, download it. I'm gonna have it for five bucks. So appreciate you guys for supporting the channel once again. Shout out to my whole NPC gang on Facebook. If you're looking to join a really dope group of NPC users, make sure you check us out on Facebook. NPC gang will pop right up. Appreciate everybody for the support once again, man. I'll catch you on the next one, all right? Peace.